Mr. Woodruff, we estimate that you have approximately 30 days. Have we discovered a natural remedy for HIV and AIDS? Since the discovery of the compound TB500, some researchers are thinking so. This powerful compound is produced naturally in the body's thymus gland, which has the ability to do two important things. One, influence almost every cell in the body to protect and regenerate faster, and two, really helping restore the immune system back to balance. Because of these two powerful abilities, this is why TB500 is being researched for the treatment of HIV and AIDS, for sports recovery injuries, for cosmetic treatments like hair growth, for traumatic brain damage, and much more. All of this sounds too good to be true, so let's take a deep dive into TB500 where I'll be sharing all my experience and thoughts on the peptide. Before I begin, I must say a little disclaimer that this video is purely educational. I'm not a doctor, so everything I say is not medical advice, it's just my thoughts and opinions on the subject. So what is TB500? First, a common name for it is TB500, but their actual name is TB4. TB4 is what is found in the body. TB500 is what is made in the lab. It's the same exact molecule. One is made in the lab, like all peptides. The one in the body is TB4. I'm not for sure why they changed the name on this. But this compound is related to thymosin, which is a hormone secreted by the thymus gland. So this peptide pretty much comes from your thymus, which plays a major role in immune support and immune building. And TB500 or TB4 plays an essential role in the protection, remodeling, and regeneration of injured tissue by greatly enhancing the movement of these cells to an injured site. And here is a little deep dive onto TB4 or TB500 that most people aren't aware of. So TB4, TB4 means that's four binding domains. And some places will offer a single domain to focus on a unique benefit of just that TB fragment. So there are four binding domains. The first binding domain, 1723, which is the most popular one, focuses heavily on healing joints, ligaments, and muscles. The fragment 1115 helps the body recycle its own cells in a more efficient manner. Really helpful for like anything more immune related. Fragment 1-4 focuses more on being anti-inflammatory. And Fragment 40-43 targets more of the heart. So it's pretty cool by knowing the different domains, one can focus on one domain if they want to. So how does thymosin beta 500 or TB4 work? Well, one of its main actions is that it focuses on binding to a protein called actin. And the protein actin plays a major role in the influence and movement of cells in our body. So by TB500 and TB4 binding to actin, it will increase its activity, which when there's an injured site, actin is increased. So pretty much TB500 and TB4 is increasing the body's ability to move the cells and repair the tissues faster because it's enhancing the protein actin. And additionally, it binding to actin increases the number of immune cells and as well helps destroy cytotoxins, which pretty much are damaging things for the body. So one of the main benefits of TB4 or TB500? First, it helps increase the immune system. It improves heart health, liver health, eye health, helps with the regeneration of hair. It can improve blood pressure. It can help with lung health, help with brain health. As you can see, there are so many benefits because TB4, TB500 binds to actin, which is in most of our cells. So pretty much if there's inflammation or damage in the body, actin will be increased and TB500 will help with that movement of actin. What are the most commonly reported side effects of TB500 or TB4? The first one I've seen is feeling temporarily tired. This has been reported Personally, from my experience, I've never experienced that, but that's something that I've seen in the literature. Another side effect is chance of swelling or pain when injecting. So it's not so much the peptide, it's more how the peptide is commonly administrated, which is usually through a sub-Q injection or an injection under the skin. So here's a dosing and cycling of TB500 or TB4. This comes from my research and experience. So first, the main goal is using TB500 or TB4 until the goal is resolved. Once the goal is resolved, there's no need for more TB4 or TB500. So 300 micrograms to one gram per day until the condition is resolved. And if needed to cycle for a prolonged time, three months on, one month off. So pretty much three months on, does this help the condition? Is it still there? No, yes. No, no need for TB500. Yes, take a month off and continue with another cycle. So here are the best supplements I would take with TB500 or TB4. 
The first one would be some kind of natural anti-inflammatory like fish oil or curcumin. The reason why is most people take TB500 or TB4 for some kind of inflammatory reason. The second thing I would take, especially if you're a man, is the masculine medicine, which I believe to be the strongest test booster on the market. I make it myself, I take it myself, and just having more testosterone as a man is crucial for feeling and looking and healing like a man. So here are some other peptides I would take with TB500 or TB4. It largely depends on the goals. First would be any kind of growth hormone combo of peptides, so such as a GHRP that releases growth hormones such as ipinephrine or GHRP2 or GHRP6, and then a GHRH, which is a peptide that creates growth hormone, such as CJC125 or tesorelin, because growth hormone can help with so many different things, such as healing faster. Next would be BPC157, which is probably the most commonly psych peptide I see with TB500 because they have a very strong synergistic effect. Actually, BPC and TB500 are very common in traumatic brain injuries or any kind of brain damage. Next would be any kind of immune peptide such as thymus alpha 1 or LL37 because TB500 can help with your immune so by adding in other immune peptides I think it can be a very powerful effect. And some other noteworthy peptides that kind of help with healing because TB500 might think of it as more of a healing peptide would be ARA290 which helps a lot for healing your blood vessels often used with people with diabetes. Another one would be KPV with TB500. KPV is very popular for like stomach stuff or just any kind of wound condition. Another one would be GHKKU, which is often used not only for cosmetics, but internal healing. So adding in TB500 can be great. As well, TB500 does help with hair growth. So pretty much you're seeing there's so many different peptides. And that's one amazing thing about TB500 is that it has such a versatility of what peptides can be used with there or supplements. So here are the pros of TB500 and TB4. The first pro is a pretty well-usaged and well-used peptide. So there's a lot of peptides out there and some we don't even know about or some have very little experience where this one tends to be used pretty well. The second major pro is that it offers a lot of benefit with a low risk profile in my opinion. Again, this is why it's so well used because when people gain benefit and even they don't gain benefit, they don't experience side effects. So what are the cons of TB500 TB4? I think the first one is pretty expensive because this is a more well used and well researched peptide because the demand goes up, so it does the price. The second con is that if you're looking for a specific fragment of TB4, it can be hard to find that, where many places will just have TB500 or TB4. So what's my overall opinion of TB500 or TB4? Well, I really enjoy this peptide. I actually have quite extensive experience with it. I really enjoy adding in BPC-157 with TB500, which from my experience is one of the most common ways TB500 is used but it offers so many benefits. And as well, I don't use it as much because I don't really have a specific condition I'm trying to focus on. But when something does come up, it is one of the first peptides I think about. Additionally, I do have future experiments to actually use TB500 with topical GHKKU because TB500 helps with hair growth. So I'm still experimenting with other ways TB500 can be used and applied. So I will make future videos about that. But overall, it's one of my favorite peptides. If you want to master peptides in the most simple way possible, please check out my book. It's called Peptides Made Simple. It's everything I've researched on peptides in a very simple to digest format. It's on Amazon, $9 on Kindle. So if you like this, please support the business, support the channel. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have an amazing day and stick around for future peptide videos.